Ukrainian authorities have set off building one of the strongest armies in Europe and bring Crimea back from Russia, Secretary of Ukraine's National Security and Defense Council Alexander Turchinov said on Wednesday. The country's defense ministry and the interior ministry will get a more than 10% share in the total budget spending for 2015, estimated as $31 billion. A total of 5% of gross domestic product of cash-strapped Ukraine will go to the army. Our war will end only when the whole territory of Ukraine is freed, including Crimea, Turchinov said. Seems Ukrainian government includes only militarists and nationalists. What a beautiful country! Meanwhile, strongest army in Europe received winter uniforms from United Kingdom. Yesterday, the armed forces of Ukraine received a cargo of humanitarian aid from the United Kingdom. British colleagues gave Ukrainian military winter uniforms and medical equipment, spokesperson of the country's defense ministry Victoria Kushner said Wednesday. Poland is open to hold talks with Ukraine regarding potential sales of arms, Polish President Bronislaw Komorowski said on Wednesday. If Ukraine is interested, then of course Poland is absolutely open to hold talks, Komorowski said. And then Ukrainian army will kill civilians of Donbas by the arms. Great idea, Mr. Komorowski. Steps towards further militarization of southeastern Europe, including missile defense deployment in Romania, run counter to the interests of regional and European security and stability, Russian Foreign Ministry spokesman Alexander Lukashevich said on Wednesday. He commented on statements by chairman of the U.S. House Intelligence Committee Mike Rogers on the Great Shields in Deveselu, Romania. The role assigned to Romania to serve as the regular American project is hardly as honorable as it presented, Lukashevich said. We thank our information partners for help with spreading this video news. Subscribe to our channel to receive up-to-date information on the situation in Ukraine and current geopolitical events in Europe.